Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at custom resources, an update added in version 1.3.3 of the City Builder Starter Kit. Let's open the sample scene which is in the extensions folder under custom resources. So let's hit play. The first thing you'll notice there's a new resource type in the left panel. We're calling this resource Manor. So how do we add this? We go to the Managers object, click Resource Manager. You can see we've added a custom resource data file. What does this file look like? It's a standard XML configuration file has an entry for ma uh, ID, name, sprite name, and also the default amount that a player will start with for the given resource. We can create a new resource just by duplicating the existing one and filling in the blanks. So as an example, let's create a helmet resource which uses the unit icon and will give the player no helmets to start with. If we press play, see we have a new resource. Let's get rid of that. The second part of the update is the ability to add an additional cost to a building, the cost being, of course, the new resource. If we try to build a building, we can see now that the temple building requires 50 mana to build. Let's quickly build its prerequisite. Now let's build a temple. Of course, it consumes our mana. While that's building, we can try and build another temple. But first, let's gather some resources. We're unable to build it, and we get the warning. This is where you bring up your in-app purchase screen. So like with resources, the default behavior is to prompt you to buy some more, not to stop the user being able to build the building. So how do we set that up? That's defined in our building data. To add the new requirement to the temple, we simply add an additional cost entry in the XML file. So here we're saying there's an additional cost, it's a custom resource of mana, and the amount required is 50. The next part is to be able to generate mana. If we go to our temple, we'll see there's a new activity called study. Let's launch and fast forward this activity, and we'll see we've gained 10 mana. So how have we done this? First part is in our activity data file. We simply define an activity as with any other activity, but we give the reward type of custom resource and we provide a reward ID which matches the resource ID. And of course, a name, a duration, and an amount. If we wanted to reward more now, we could change the value. Let's make it a quicker activity. In 15 seconds, we'll gain 20 mana. Hit play. So that shouldn't take long to finish. Well, it does, we might gather some more resources. And now that it's finished, 
we gain the extra mana. So there we have it, custom resources in City Builder Starter Kit.